six days and counting is all you have left to get as much crypto as you possibly need. So don't miss out on a single second of this video because I am going to show you some very valid points here right now in this crypto space that you should be taking notes of so that you could look at where it is that you should be placing most of your capital in this cycle. Of course, this video is not financial advice. I'm just sharing with it, with yourselves, what it is that I will be doing. Now, obviously I have capital invested elsewhere in other spaces, meme coins, all kinds of different coins, real world assets, staking, all kinds of things, guys, going on. So the truth and the reality of this is that the crypto space can financially free you as it has done for pretty much most people. So, you know, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a number of um, articles on Bitcoin and where we are in the markets right now, considering that this coming week, we should absolutely and undoubtedly be expecting to see the Bitcoin halving, which will be in approximately just over six days right now. So, which tells me that it will be next week, Sunday, kind of sometime in early hours of the morning, guys. I said to you guys, I will be here on a video live streaming with you what happens at that moment that the halving clock actually ticks over. So we have six days and 15 hours left. So I would approximately say it would be about five o'clock next week, Sunday, CAT, Central African time. So we're looking amazing, guys, on Sunday, 20 April. going to be in a beautiful day to celebrate um, the halving moment. But in this video, we're going to take a look at a few things. You can see you guys obviously love my shitcoin video, um, 1K to a million dollars. So thanks for that. If you guys haven't been seeing these other ones, go check them out, guys. It's very valuable. You can make more money in these other coins than you can in shitcoins. So please go and check the, those out, especially this video here. This is going to bring you some crazy money and this video. So go check those out. I'll leave them pinned up in the cards above for you guys. So uh, welcome back to the Crypto Blitz Show. I'm Kiara and let's rock on with this. So today we're looking at the market cap is bleeding like crazy. It is currently sitting at $2.6 trillion, $2.58 trillion, and we are down 6.2%. So there's blood on the streets. Are we going to stop? and slow down or are we going to continue to bleed? The volume is increasing, the sell pressure is continuing. We had massive sell pressure with a good amount of volume coming in here. That volume came up to about $165 billion in the last 24 hours. You got coins that are doing a thousand percent and some that are dropping like crazy. So Bitcoin dropped in the last 24 hours, 4.8%. We're now sitting at 68, just 67,500 and Ethereum is 7.4% down and we're sitting just under kind of 2,300 at the moment. BNB is chilling just under the 600 level, Solana at 152, um, XRP at 54 cents, Dogecoin at 17 cents, Cardano at 51 cents, Toncoin at 6.61. Guys, these things are bleeding right now. Look at this, this is blood on the streets. Uh, look at all of this. So. What have I always told you guys? Use my links down below so that you guys can go ahead and buy these cryptos. No financial advice, of course, but I'm just telling you what it is that I'm doing because I'm buying a ton of this stuff while these markets are currently bleeding like this because this is going to be the last opportunity that you have before this market continues to rally and rise. So for, for me, I would be very, 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 very optimistic about what the future of crypto holds but for now just accumulate when you see red days like we're seeing currently on the morales money bubbles like we're seeing blood everywhere guys whiff is down 20 percent avax is down 16 percent render 10 ship 10 atom 16 guys i'm just saying to you these are coins that i'll be adding more of as we continue to rise in this space so phew, will we continue down well let's have let's continue to have a look today the fear and greed index is sitting at 72 we're back in kind of a regular greed territory from yesterday 79 and last week 75 so i would be very straight up and just tell you we're probably sitting nicely in just the greed territory uh, of recent and not really much in the extreme greed even though on certain days we can have just an extreme greed kind of day so 
if you guys are not following me on Twitter, come check me out on Twitter, guys. I am posting whatever it is that I can. Yesterday, I did um, post this. So Bitcoin is testing the shite out of soon halving will and we shall continue. Well, you know, ever since this yesterday, well, guess what? We actually had a major, major dip in the market. So we had a crazy candle that pulled down, wicked all the way down here to like 64,000 and pull back up. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, that just means we're finding support. And as you can see, I actually took just a, a bit of profits off of my trade here because we were, because it was a hard sell. You know, I took it and I added um, more liquidity to my other spot account. So I just took some profits and that's all I did. I got out of the rest of my trades as well. And I'm just leaving my Bitcoin trade. Now I'm going to watch my Bitcoin. And I'm going to continue now to add if we do continue to fall, because if I have to look here right now and show you that on my sell candle, we have strong sell pressure. Um, but if I zoom out a little bit, look at that level, guys. So this is the level that we tapped, tapped, tapped and tapped. So the, the problem that I have here is that we're kind of no longer building a W pattern. Okay, so now I need to delete that. We're actually building a little bit more of an M pattern, okay, which I'm not really keen to see. However, I'm going to say to you that if we do bleed in the space and we do end up coming down even further to about 60,000, I'm just going to tell you I'm going to be buying as much Bitcoin and as much altcoins as I can here while everything continues to just bleed. Okay, I doubt that we are going to cross the section here, the, the bottom of this purple box. I doubt it, but that doesn't mean it can't happen, guys. Use my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. My Bitflex link down below. Get you up to $88,888 bonus. And let's go and trade together with the $128,888 of bonus. Now, um, let's go and have a very quick squeeze here. So why did Bitcoin drop? Well, obviously, if it's valued against the dollar, Bitcoin USDT will drop. So what happened? So we've got this kind of falling wedge pattern and we've had a bit of a break out here on the dollar. However, what I would like to say is that there are two things that I am noting here. Are we building a W pattern on the dollar? Okay. If we are building the pattern on the on the dollar, could this continue to be a bump and run pattern? Okay. Um, or was this the bump and this is the run? Because essentially what happened was we broke this line right here and we retested over there and we've been hovering, struggling to break up. So will we get above this if we are already oversold, already oversold, already, I'm sorry, overbought, overbought. But here on the MACD, we're getting a bit of momentum and volume picking up here. So which means that it could try and reach for a bit of a push, okay, to the top of this at about 107 again. Then maybe we see a complete rejection, a retest of that rejection zone, and then a continuation of the pattern. Okay, so I believe we're still going to be coming down here to this 90 level at some point in the near future. Um, but right now, obviously, we're in a very important space. So in terms of the bump and run pattern, let's go and have a look so that we can show you exactly what a bump and run pattern is. So what is a bump and run? Um, so it's called a bump and run reversal pattern. The bump and run reversal chart pattern, also known as BAR is a reversal pattern that is formed when a stock goes through a fast uh, through a fast and large price hike as a result of ex excessive speculation in the market regarding the stock. So if Bitcoin's currently busy just doing a little bit of a, a shenanigan and just dropping here a little bit at the moment, you know, what is it that we're actually looking at? Because if we look at a closer look at this, here is the bullish trend, and here is where it broke the trend. Here is the, 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 the bump up here, and here is the failure with a double top and lower high, then building the run, 
Okay, so the run started all the way. In fact, the run started here and then it continued over here. So if that is the case, okay, if we look at the dollar, that would look pretty similar to this actually being the bump because this is the capitulation. So this is the bump and then this is the start of the run and then we're capitulating right now. Okay, so capitulating right now then the continuation of the pattern continues to the downside. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. What do you guys think about this? Do you think the dollar is in a bump and run pattern? Because essentially right now, we're still not breaking that high there. And right now, we're very overbought, like I've been saying. But what I would say is that this white line needs to hold a rejection point for the Dixie in order for us to then continue that bump and run pattern, which essentially down the line breaks this this baseline over here, giving us a new lower low on the charts. So that being said, you can see here that that's the same formation in every single chart. So we're six days away, all right? Do you really think that Bitcoin is going to struggle against the dollar at this point? Uh, especially considering that every single time through Bitcoin's history and cycles, we have seen Bitcoin after every single halving date absolutely pump. Would you like to see that? Well, let's go and have a look at the rainbow chart here. Okay, there you go. We'll look at that. So here is the Bitcoin rainbow chart, guys. So Every time, halving, pump, halving, pump, halving, pump, halving, very likely to pump. Okay, so I'll close that up for you because what I really want to show you is my chart that I continue to show you guys over and over and over and over once again. So we'll have a look at it from the baseline of where Bitcoin's kind of almost first rally was. So Bitcoin kind of was up to about here. In fact, let's draw that line. Oh, there's no dates even. I can't even give you a date there. Sorry, guys. It just is what it is there. Okay, but it was about 2000, late 2009. So pump, uh, accumulation or bear market, accumulation, still accumulate, still accumulate, uh, pump. Okay. Then Bitcoin in itself made a bump pattern. Then there was a dump, a run on Bitcoin. Okay. Then once again, we broke. Then once the halving point came, we bumped and we ran. Okay. Each crypto and stock goes through its own cycle. So right now, Bitcoin is not in the, well, it's the in the beginning stages of its bump phase. Whereas the Dixie, if you look at the Dixie, it's already had its bump and it's already um, gone quite a substantial amount on its run. So if we're going to see the continuation pattern in Bitcoin continue its bump or its um, absolute pump, okay, you can call a bump a pump as well. We're here right now, busy capitulating like absolute crazy here right now before halving date. By the time halving day comes, guys, you can see these candles, we get wicked out, we get stopped out, nothing's happening here, okay? I don't see us coming below. I mean, if we were to retest, Bitcoin does like the 618, which is back at 49,000. I don't believe we're going to get there, guys, but it doesn't mean we can't, okay? We could, you know, somebody could make us the market crash like this, but honestly, I don't know who on earth would be selling that amount of Bitcoin at this point in time, especially when you see crazy articles like I'm about to show you. So before I do that, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys have hit that notification bell so that you know when you get cool, great videos like this. Now, um, let's go and have a look at the first one. So Bitcoin ordinals token that explodes 4,600% in a month, flashing bullish signal according to top um, uh, analyst. Okay, so uh blunts once again so this is pups 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 is sitting at uh and he did this when this was 69 69 it's already back up here at a hundred dollars guys 
So Pops was all the way up here at 150 and it's continuing to show absolute crazy, crazy um, pumps. And then the same with Radium. Check this out, guys. So very, very nice. Uh, the same thing with the, uh, the gold, although gold had a massive, massive drop yesterday. But with that being said, if we go and look at ordinals, okay, and where ordinals and crypto and all of that beautiful energy are right now, okay, we have pups at $88, okay? You can see here, we've just gone absolutely through the roof, guys. From all the way down here, Pups was sitting at 26 cents. It's now sitting at $88. So it's a 5,000x, guys. And where did it do that? In the last three months, it's done 261,000%, guys. We're 30 minutes previously away from the all time high at $95. And Pups is, has only got 7.7 .7 million, guys. Pups Ordinals is a crazy project. I would definitely in the Bitcoin, and I'm, I'm only doing this because I'm speaking about Bitcoin. So Pups is an insane crypto uh, to be watching out for. Go check them out. I'm not going to show you. Ordinals is the same. Ordinals is the top crypto in the BRC with a top market cap. Um, and as you can see, Ordinals came from like $3.99. Guys, I invested at $3.40. That was my level um, where I bought the majority of my um, ordinals at that point, guys. And then we had this crazy pump on ordinals all the way up to $95, ironically, as well. Isn't that interesting? So pump of 2,000% and ordinals is going to continue. And then you get inscriptions. Um, you get a whole bunch of other stuff on the BRC20 network, which is going to increase the volume in Bitcoin, which is going to eventually increase the volume in crypto, for its entire market cap. Now, um, JP Morgan Chase CEO warns of inflation, terrible wars and violence are significant uncertain forces in the new world outlook. So guys, many economic indicators continue to be favorable. However, looking ahead, we remain alert to a number of significant uncertain forces. First, the global landscape is unsettling. Terrible wars and violence continue to cause suffering and geopolitical tensions growing. So. Oh man, this dude, he, yeah, we know. Well, we, let us not, let us not say much else, right? Because we all actually, actually just know. So, you know, with ordinals and BRC and Bitcoin and what's going to happen on the Bitcoin ecosystem, I believe that Bitcoin is definitely going to be a major catalyst of this cycle and a major narrative uh, to the cycle. So, I have a bunch of very, very cool videos coming out for you guys over the next day, two days, three days. Make sure to check my live out on Monday uh, at 7 p.m. CAT. I'm going to be sharing a bunch of stuff, but I've got some really cool stuff in the lining up for you guys, very similar to these videos, and you guys are going to want to subscribe so that you know when those videos are released. Okay. So AI altcoin projects lands on crypto exchange, Binance, and surprise. There's plenty of things going. So as you can see here, we're currently seeing a bit of a pullback in the total three cryptocurrency market cap. But I mean, I did say to you guys, breakout, retest. Look at where we're retesting on the purple box. Absolutely perfectly. This candle didn't engulf this, but maybe the next one does. And it kind of sits here. But essentially, look at this. We've got slower buying pressure. We've got the the RSI pulling down. So we're going to essentially exhaust in sellers pressure somewhere within this region here. So right now, somebody is selling some of their crypto, taking a little bit of profits because we've had a nice rally up. But guys, at the end of the day, I'm going to be buying those dips. Call them dips. Call them whatever you like. But we haven't even begun the bull cycle just yet. And if we look at the true 
meaning of this market up up and it's just going to continue guys so who knows where we'll reach the cycle four trillion ten trillion uh, sorry four trillion eight trillion in this uh, total three market cap but if you go and look at all of the other cryptos you know i just wanted to show you but it's not loading for you guys the u.s national debt is to shatter 141 trillion dollars in terms of its total debt guys we, you know go and look at us debt clock.org it'll tell you more about that uh then also you know bitcoin is definitely building up before its breakout right now i have been talking to you guys about this for some time it's busy playing let it play let it just do its thing and let it just accumulate because in six days time i'm just going to say to you even if it takes like two three weeks or even months to just accumulate in the accumulate phase and we really get that strong base and foundation for bitcoin's next move up Bitcoin is going up, whether you like it or not. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here with me and watching this video. I truly appreciate every single last one of you blessed and beautiful beings. I wanted to keep this one a little bit shorter for you today. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. There was huge sell pressure um, in the space, but that still means nothing while we're holding this pattern at the end of the day. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Love you all. Don't be frightened out of your crypto. Don't sell your crypto at this point. Just accumulate more, guys. Hold strong. Keep your emotions in check. And uh, thank you for being here with me. Truly appreciate you. Bless and wonderful.